is Mean Angwin. So, if you're wondering what this is, this is my first top five. Yes, I'm doing top five instead of top ten. So, yeah, this is top five. Of my favorite video games, you know, just the ones that I've found. Now, before we start, there's three things I have to say. So, they have to first be something I come back to more than usual. A game that actually has good reason for being good. And B... I just enjoy it for its humor, its funness, its gameplay, its characters, all its niceness. So, yeah. Number five. Club Penguin. Now, Club Penguin has been around since 2005, and it might not seem like that cool of a game, but it's fun. None of left. I don't, what I like about it is that it, you can make lots of friends, and... Sometimes your best friend is a Puffle. I love that it's one of the cutest games I've ever played. Yeah, this is the closest thing I got to Kirby on this list. Don't worry, one day you'll probably see Kirby. Um, there's other characters on it, such as Rockhopper, Gary, Antarctic, and my personal favorite, Herbert. And there's also all sorts of famous people. In fact, without Club Penguin, I probably wouldn't have started a YouTube account, so thank it. <laughs> Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Number four. I am number four as a movie is called. I've never even seen her. <laughs> Super Mario f 64 DS. I never played the original, but this is probably the closest thing we have to it. It's a very fun platformer, but I have my memories with it. Actually, I actually broke my original DS because I got so mad on the pyramid level. Yeah, this game can be annoying. Whoa. That's an interesting picture. I got all these pictures off the internet, so yeah. I chose the best ones I found. My personal favorite character to play as was Wario because of its powerfulness, and Mario's agileness, Yoshi's cool cuteness, and Luigi's clumsiness, but can turn invisible, which is awesome. What I love about this game is how it's, like, <coughs> very creative and how it seems just like the original game with tweaked up things, and has gr amazing graphics, even for a DS. Which is very nice. A lot better than another few games. And in our top five were still be a bit more interesting. Number three! <sighs> Pokemon Black. No, well, what the I say black because I owned black and I haven't played white. I'm not sure what the varieties is other than different Pokemon, but... Even though they're virtually the same Pokemon, I say black. Because <clears throat> you get to play as Reshiram and Zek. You get to battle Zekron. How awesome is that? You actually have two. I know it's been like that before, but if you're going to choose any of them, choose Reshiram because you're pretty much fighting Hitler. Yes, I know. I'm awesome. I think my great grandfather died in World War II, so whenever I see Zekron, I think of him as. Hitler, and then whenever I, I'm going to battle him if I ever see one. Hey, hey, I have feelings too. I'm an internet moron, but I still have feelings. Do, 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 do. Number two. Oh, getting so close to number one. Cave Star. Now, Cave Story is a more new game to me. Picture's kind of small. Now, Cave Story is kind of a new game to me, but it's still very fun. I'll say that much. What I love about Cave Story is how it's a very interesting game that I find very underrated. A lot of people don't like it, like Josh Scorcher and the Peanut Guy. Yes, I know, they're awesome. And I'm sorry, but I don't get it. I just think that you guys are awesome, but you say it's a really frustrating game. Yes, it's frustrating, but I find it's a very fun game and a very intriguing story. I still cannot wait to get out of, get out of the Sand World or... I'm just going. If you're watching this and uh, you're wa and I'm just gonna ask if you don't if you hate it or you don't hate it, I'm sorry if I'm mean. I just hope that you enjoy it still. Number one. <laughs> yes, Sonic Avenger DX director's cut. Yes, I'm choosing this over the original for Dreamcast for a couple reasons. 
first off, it has more updated, like missions. Up. Second off, I'm not sure if the graphics have been updated, but I'm gonna have to say in some way they are. And the third and final, the reason how I like this one more than Dreamcast, I've never played it, but I'm gonna, well, I've seen it. It's because it's for, it's for GameCube, so I can play it, and only for, hold on, I'll zoom in for you. Only four. I have the game, so. See, only four. So, pretty much, it's an awesome game. And I know I'm speaking loudly here, but. Yeah. So, I hope you enjoyed this. See you guys. Peace out, home dogs, and. Have a nice evening. Oh, yeah, and a special. I have two special features. The first one is I'm just gonna be saying that I got. I recently got Bell Blob, and. I'm gonna say it's number six or number zero, meaning it's a very fun game. And kind of stuck at one part, but other than that, it's very fun. And as a second bonus, I'm going to be showing you my flip notes, or at least the audio, because, well, it's fun. Change of plans, I'll be showing it to you later, so the flip notes. So, see you guys, bye-bye.